The former Arizona Coyotes, now playing in Utah, have announced that they will be going without a team name for the 2024-25 season, but they are underway holding a fan voting contest to determine what their team mascot will be beginning in the 25-26 season. There are 20 different choices that fans can pick from, and I am here to rank every single one of them into this tier list from best to worst. My rankings are purely based off of vibes, memeability of the mascot, and originality. Don't worry about the logos, they're not counting for anything, it's just AI so that we can know which ones are going where. And we'll start off with the Utah Squall, which on its face kinda is not terrible. I do prefer names that don't have just the plural of a thing, like the Devils, the Capitals, the Penguin. But that being said, Squall is very, very close to Avalanche and just not as threatening. That's gonna be a theme among a lot of these names. So I'm going to put the Squall down in the uninspired. It's very derivative of the Avalanche, and so I think it should be off the list. After that, we have the Utah Glaciers, which similar sort of track, except I think it's a little bit worse than the Squall because, like, the Glaciers? Who, who cares? Like, a single Glacier is kind of imposing and intimidating, but what? Is Utah, like, the land of all of the Glaciers? There's plenty of Glaciers in Iceland and Antarctica. It's just very uninspiring, and again, not as threatening as the Avalanche, so I'm going to put it a tier below the Squall. Utah Outlaws is okay. I mean, the mascot itself is kind of threatening. I guess it goes with, like, the Old West theme that they've been going for with a few of these mascots. But when I hear the Outlaws, I think of the old USFL team. They're not the original, like the Kraken, so that knocks it down a little bit. I'll put it in the kind of fuck with it tier, but I think that there are better options that they could choose. Next up, we have the Utah Black Diamonds, which to me reads like the Kmart version of the Vegas Golden Knights. Like, yeah, I guess related to skiing, but like, is a diamond really a good mascot? What is the logo going to be like a ski resort? Not very threatening. Putting it down in the U tier, just a swing and a miss for me. Next up, we have the Utah Swarm, which they went with a couple of different very variations of this we'll get to in a minute. Apparently there's a team called the Salt Lake Bees, a minor league baseball team, and I don't know exactly why they'd want to rip that off, and also just like are hornets or wasps or bees somehow intrinsically unique to Salt Lake City? I've never heard of it. Somebody who's from Utah could correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, to me this is just uninspired. It's at least original for a professional team name, but I think there could be better options. Now the Utah Fury kind of fuck with it a little bit like i said it's not a plural of a thing it's a force of nature my only problem is i think it runs a little bit kind of close with the minnesota wild i don't know how you would visibly distinguish it from them i feel like you're going to be going with like a wolf or a bear logo which in that case i would just go with like the utah wolves or the utah grizzlies or something like that by the way why is grizzly not on this list it absolutely should be then we have the utah mountaineers which same vein as the outlaws but it's also the name of the west virginia mascot i'm gonna put it just a tier below the outlaws because i just prefer the outlaws better now the utah venom is a very divisive nickname apparently I kind of fuck with it. I really, really like this nickname. I won't put it in the elite tier, but it is one of my favorites. If they could somehow sign a deal with like Marvel to get like the Venom incorporated into their organization, that would just be peak. And then after that, we have the Utah Mammoth, and I really, really like this one. The Woolly Mammoth, a very big, imposing figure. It's not a plural too. It's just like not just the woolly mammoth, but like the mammoth, meaning like a massive entity. I really, really like that. This is going in the top tier. This would be an elite name for Utah. The Utah Hive, same sort of line of thinking as the Swarm. I think it's just not as good. So I'm going to put it a tier below the Swarm. Hive just sucks. Then we have the Utah Powder. This is another skiing related one. Uh, but this one, I really don't think this passed like the sixth grader test because... I hear powder and I immediately think drugs and like that's 100% going to get memed by like everybody who's immature like me. So uh, yeah, Utah, don't do this. It would be hilarious, but uh, d don't do this. This is like the Freely family naming their first daughter Isabella Patrice. After that, we have Utah HC, aka Utah Hockey Club. This is going to be divisive for a lot of people. I fucking hate when teams do like Utah FC or Utah HC. Do not do this. Okay, it's so lame and uninspiring. Pick an actual mascot, grow a fucking pair. This one is bottom tier for me. This would be an absolute travesty of a pick. Then we have the Utah Ice, which is in the same realm as like Squall and Glaciers. It's even worse than both of those. This goes way lower on the tier list. The Utah Caribou? Kind of nice, kind of like it. Uh, it's not quite as intimidating as like the Venom or the Mammoth, but it's a solid choice. I'll give them that. 
Now, the Ito Blast could go one of two ways. If it's going along with the snow thematic, I hate it, hate it, hate it. It's worse than all the others we had other than the powder. If it's blast like, you know, a meteor blast or a cannon blast, little derivative of like the Columbus Blue Jackets and like the other military names, not as bad in my opinion. If it's that, I'd put it in the uninspired tier, but I'm going to put it down in the second lowest tier because I think it's going with the snow theme. Now, the Utah Frost is a little bit better than Blast, in my opinion. And of all the snow themed ones, like Glacier and Squall, I like Frost a fair bit more. I'll put it on the same level as the Squall, but again, it's all so similar and derivative. I just. Avalanche is so much better. You'd never get to compete with Avalanche. Now, Blizzard has the best chance of competing with Avalanche. If you're going to go with the snow theme one, in my opinion, go with the Utah Blizzard. I'll put this one in the kind of fuck with it tier. It's the best of the bad batch, but uh, yeah, you're just always going to be the Avalanche's little brother if you do this. Then after that, we have the Utah Yeti. Again, like the Mammoth, really like that mythological creature, kind of like the Kraken, not a plural. And you can do a lot of cool things in Arena with like Bigfoot as a mascot and stuff like that. Love the Yeti. That's an elite name. On the other hand, the Utah Canyons, this might be the worst fucking name I've ever heard. Like, who the fuck cares about a canyon? What is scary about a canyon? Like, the Grand Canyon? That's in Arizona. Do not pick this. This is almost as bad as Utah HC. Hey, Utah, do not pick the canyons. And then last but not least, the Utah Freeze. Again, it's like the Frost and the Blizzard. It's in the same realm as, like, the Squall and the Glaciers. Like, who cares? This is so lame. You picked like six or seven names that are all derivatives of the same exact concept, and they are all terrible. If you're going to pick one, pick the Blizzard. Please, Utah, be a little bit more original and pick one of the three clear best names, the Mammoth, the Venom, or the Yeti. If they decide to add a write-in option, please write in Utah Grizzlies.